Hi friends, I wanted to share with you how I turned this box into a journal cover. This ended up being the journal cover for the bird journal that I created for my 4K giveaway. This was not difficult to do, and if you have a box like this hanging around and you've got some extra fabric, this is something you could do as well. As you can see, I am simply taking the box apart from where the pieces were glued together. The next thing I'm going to do is cut off the rough edges. You can see here that the box has been cleaned up. Now I'm going to mark it so that I can cut it to size. And basically how I do this is I take my signatures, I put them inside, and I see how tall they are, and then I simply mark how much I want to cut off. I usually will cut the top or the bottom first, and then I do the sides. I won't be able to use my paper cutter to cut this because the box is it's too tall or too long or however you want to say it. So I drew a line to make sure that I would cut it straight. Now I'm going to grab my signatures and I'm going to place them back in there because now it's time to trim the edges. You can see the signatures inside and you can see how much space there is uh, right there on the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that and then I will trim both of those sides. You can see that this part of the box is, or this side of the box is pretty vibrant blue. So I'm going to make sure that I use two layers of this fabric, which is sort of a sandy color. I'm going to use two layers over the blue just to ensure that it doesn't show through. I'm thinking about doing some sewing around the edges of this, but to make sure the fabric stays in place, I'm going to use my hot glue gun and just tack the fabric down here and there. That way when I go to sew it, it won't move around. Here it is with the sandy or creamy colored fabric on it, and it's ready for the next layer. I've chosen this beautiful fabric. It's like a deep, deep burgundy, almost like a wine color. And it's got some, I don't wanna say piping on it, but you can see here the gold you know, threads, and then it's got the, in more of a red or orange color, it's got the leaves. Super, super pretty. I think great choice for a bird themed journal. So I'm going to use the dark part for the outside of the journal. And what you see here will be the inside of the journal. I also found a scrap of fabric and it happens to have birds on it, which is fantastic. And so I thought I'd go ahead and see how this works with the other fabric that I've chosen for the color cover. And I think the colors work great together, so I am definitely going to add this. I'm snipping this, I'm going to tear it so that the size works better. And I'll keep that other piece just in case I can use it somewhere in the journal or, you know, for tabs or whatever. Before I do any sewing, I need to just double check and make sure I have everything where I want it. So I'm going to open this up and sort of redistribute this fabric. And I'll decide if I'm going to use the extra fabric on the sides as pockets or not cleaning up the edges so that they're a bit straighter and then I'm going to shift this fabric to the left a little bit so that the inside cover is on the the front inside cover I should say so that it's mostly this fabric and then the inside cover of the back will be the cream colored fabric this is just a personal preference of how I want the the book to look when you open it up. So there, there's I could have done it so many different ways. So this is just how I happen to do this one. I don't do them all like this, but like I said, just for whatever reason, it's kind of in the mood to have 
this book look this way. So I'm only sharing that to let you know that there's like, there's no wrong or right way to do this. It's truly personal preference. You can see I am doing some cleanup and then I'm going to flip it back to the front and add the, the bird piece. I'm just going to tack that down with some hot glue and then I think I'll take everything over to my sewing machine. I'm going to show you the inside of this journal cover in just a second because you'll be able to see the stitching but you can't see it on the outside because the threads are dark that I used for stitching so like I said you won't be able to see that on the outside but when I open it up you can definitely see it on the inside because I used the light color fabric inside. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I like the way it feels. There's like four layers of fabric on here, so it, it feels just really, really nice. I wanted to let you know that I am not sewing in the signatures in this video, but if you'd like to see how everything looks sewn in, I did a flip through of this journal it's on my channel and it's the flip through of the bird journal. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching. See you soon.